Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss Giger-Nuttall law. Giger-Nuttall law. Here, one of the important thing is that all the radioactive elements, that is let us suppose if you consider different radioactive elements here I have taken four different radioactive elements and these are four different radioactive element and these all four radioactive elements emit alpha particle with different energy that is this all alpha particles have a different energies here all the radioactive element emit the alpha particle of energy range from 1.5 MeV to 8.5 75 MeV all the radioactive elements they emit alpha particle with energy between these range that is 1.5 MeV to 8.75 MeV okay now H Giger and JM Nuttall observed that nucleus they they observed that nucleus with shorter half life emit they emit alpha particle with higher energies and also nucleus with nucleus with longer half life emit alpha particle with lower energies what they have observed H Giger and JM Nuttall they observed that nucleus with shorter half life emits alpha particle with higher energy and nucleus with longer half life emit alpha particle with the lower energies here one more thing we all know that half life half life is simple let us suppose here I have taken one radioactive element this is the radioactive element and this radioactive let us suppose this radioactive element consists of eight atoms and after some time that is T half half line here in this case all eight atoms are unstable these all atoms are unstable and after half line half of the atoms remain unstable and half of it that is four atoms are becomes stable here we define half life as the the amount of time it takes for half the number of unstable nuclei in source or in radioactive element to decay 
this is the half life after observing nucleus with shorter half life emit alpha particle with high energy and nucleus with longer half life emit alpha particle of lower energy they have concluded that there exist definite relationship between range of alpha particle that is range of alpha particle and half life of the nucleus emitting the alpha particle to give relationship between a range of alpha particle and half life of the nucleus they have studied different series of radioactive elements here i will give two examples that is uranium gives thallium it is the unstable nucleus or unstable element and after emitting alpha and beta particle this uranium becomes a stable nucleus or stable element and one more example is that thorium gives lead here thorium is unstable element and lead is the stable element in this series uranium undergoes disintegration that is it becomes a different isotopes and finally it becomes a stable thallium element in this series in uranium series uranium emits alpha and beta particles and becomes a dif many different isotopes and finally it becomes thallium which is a stable element here also same in thorium series thorium emits alpha and beta particles and a different isotopes are formed while thorium becomes stable lead element and one more thing what they have done they have plotted logarithm of range against the log of the decay constant lambda h giger and natal they have studied different series of radioactive elements that is here for example uranium series and thallium series here they have studied different series and they have noted range and energies of different series and they have plotted graph of log lambda versus log r that is they have studied first uranium series uranium decays to thallium that is it is unstable and this one is a stable one in between these two uranium undergoes a different isotopes that is uranium becomes a different isotopes after that finally it becomes a thallium here we know that there is a relation between range and energy that is range is equal to p into e not power 2 by 3 this is the relation between range and energy where e not is the initial energy of the alpha particle and b is the constant here we know that 
the alpha particle is having a initial energy we convert energy in terms of range and we take along x axis log r values and one more thing we know that half life of each one that is for uranium there is a different half life and we denote all the half life of uranium to thallium elements and also we know that there is a relationship between half life and decay constant here if you replace this equation lambda is equal to 0.693 divided by t half we all know that we know that t half for uranium to thallium then we plot along y axis log lambda values for uranium series then they have got a straight line obtained for each radioactive series for this series they have got log lambda versus log r as a straight line and for also thallium series they have got same straight line after observing these all things they have given relationship between log lambda and log r that is they have given a relationship between range and decay constant that is log lambda is equal to a log r plus b here we know that lambda is the decay constant r is the range and a and b are the two constants here a is a remains constant for all radioactive series and b changes for each series b changes for each series this is all about giger nuttall law